Hello friends and fans, welcome back to another Central Control tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at some of the basic functionality of Central Control. We're going to take a look inside of the user interface windows and kind of explain the software in general and what exactly we can do with Central Control. So let's dive right in. Right, so let's start by opening Central Control, which I have in the taskbar here. It's going to load from the last show, but as you can see I have a completely empty project. Just looking at the main window, I have a large add device button here where I can add all of my central control devices. Below that I have the console with the project name directly below that. To the left of the project name I have my settings cog. This is very important as this is how I can create a new project, load a project, save the project or even rename the project and go into more advanced stuff like variables, which I'm sure Joe will cover in the very near future. To the right of that, I have my CPU meter. So all the people with power hungry projects, you can see exactly how much of the computing power it's actually taken up. Right above that, I have my device properties inspector. So this is how I can select my MIDI in and out ports or any other um, parameters that I can have in a device. Okay, let's get into mapping a device. I have my APC mini Mark II here with all the RGB buttons and faders. Um, so let's add it into our project. If I click the plus button here, I can open up the device window. On the left hand side, I have all the different categories in central control, all the different devices. I can switch that over to manufacturer and see all the different manufacturers of the devices. Or I can use the search field here to dial in a device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the APC Mini and add that into our project. I could give it a different name here if I had multiple APC minis and I wanted to call them different things, but I'm just going to add it. My device is now in the project and I can see on the right hand side of the window, the device properties now has a MIDI in and out drop down menu. So I can select both my MIDI in and out ports and then turn the device on just like that. Each device has a set of its own contextual buttons. In this case with the controller, I have a controls button, a triggers button, which is greyed out and a set button feedback button, which if I click on that, I can see all of the different colors for my RGB pads. And it makes it really easy to set different colors for different types of buttons in my show. But we'll go over that in another tutorial in the future. If I press the control button here, it opens the control mapping window. This is where I get all my basic mapping done in central control. On the left hand side of this window, I have all the different buttons that are available to map. Right below that, I have my layers. So I can add or remove layers on the device and almost use it as pages. To the right of that is where I can connect buttons to other devices in the project. So all of my different commands for other central control devices will show up in this list and I can just go through and start adding stuff to whatever buttons that I'd like. Let's add some other devices which I can start mapping to my controller. If I go to the add device menu again, I'm going to search for Resolume. Once the device has been added, I can either target this to a local instance of Resolume or if I had a media server, I could make sure that the device has the right IP address and the right ports. This is quite a universal concept in central control, connecting A to B. What if I want to add a central control specific device? In this example, I'm going to use Flex Macros. So let's search for an instance of Flex Macros. Here it is, I can add that into our project. The device buttons have now changed. So I still have my control and triggers, although they are grayed out and not applicable, but I can turn it on and go into the Flex Macros menu or whatever specific central control device. This goes for macros, the teleprompter, the rundown clock, anything that's a bit more specific controls. Now that I have all three of these devices inside the project, what if I want to delete one? It's as easy as clicking the X right on the device press yes and off it goes. If I want to rename a device, I just go into my project, right click the device name and it pulls up the rename menu and I can name it whatever I want. This has been a really quick overview of some of the basic features in Central Control. There'll be tutorials every Friday, so if you want to go into depth on any of the topics, drop it in the comments of what you'd like to see and we'll uh, make sure a tutorial gets put out about it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.